Hey guys, this reading is going to be for you. Instead of shuffling, I'm going to take this little stack or whatever you want to call it of all of my decks and I'm going to pick from all of them and see what message is for you. <sighs> I'm tired. Before I start, where the hell are your treat? Before I start, um, if you would like to donate to the pet rescue, all you have to do is click the GoFundMe. I'll link it below in the description, and I also have it above in my Instagram and my TikTok. My Instagram is Chelsea Gomez 42 official, 44 on the timer, and my TikTok is Chelsea Gomez 42. All other accounts are just accounts that people create that are fake. Any Facebook accounts are not me, they're fake. Um, I do not use them for reading, so those are just people copying my stuff and pretending to be me. So, here we go. Waiting. You've been waiting on something. What have you been waiting on? You, like, the longer you're waiting, the more you feel like you're drowning in emotions surrounding this. It has to do with a part of your past returning, coming back. There's a feeling of waiting, waiting, waiting. Is it going to come back? When is it going to come back? There is air sign energy as being significant. So that's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Angels are saying the way forward is the way, the way forward is in. So self-love is really important. Angels are saying go within, treat yourself, raise your energy and vibration. And when you actually raise your energy and vibration and start focusing on yourself, that is when this part of the past will be coming back. Someone's drowning in emotions about the past. You know, your angels are saying that there was a desire and a thought of forever commitment here. There's a soulmate connection, that's for sure a long-term, a long-term committed connection, a long-term connection in your life. <clears throat> I'm seeing that there could be significance and news about somebody getting a haircut or somebody getting a new tattoo because they show the cosmetic cards, but I don't necessarily see makeup. I'm seeing like a new tattoo. Um, angels are showing a butterfly as being significant. It doesn't have to be a butterfly tattoo, but it could be. Um, I'm also seeing a beaver. This could be significant for some of you and a bumblebee. I'm seeing that there's this thought between the past and the future like past love what could there be and there's not wanting to move on to this new love and being in denial about moving forward because of the past hmm. there is definitely someone else involved let's see what is that what is that oh wow a little oops secretive energy being held back your angels are saying some things are going to be changing and it's going to be happening very quickly there's going to be the reveal of a no strings attached situation so if somebody from the past actually does end up coming back your angels are showing it's more of a friends with benefits situation so this being in denial about new love that's okay for now but just know that the past is going to show itself and it's going to make you have a spiritual awakening to be able to finally move forward, right? With that new love energy. But there's just not wanting to face that truth because there's just this attachment to the past. But I'm seeing that there's going to be moving forward and leaving these lessons behind. Even though this is a soulmate connection from the past, your angels are saying like it's run its course and... In the next lifetime, this is going to be known as a karmic connection for you. Um, but it's everything 
comes to an end and I'm seeing that with whatever that past situation is honor it for what it was but I'm seeing that there's new coming in that's going to be exciting for you and really do what you can to put yourself in the other person's shoes too because it's not really about what the person didn't see in you it's more about this person and them battling between something from their past or something newer if that makes sense and that you know what it doesn't even have to be something newer it's like a a connection of someone that you know what you know now let's see what else what i want to know more about this new love energy this new love energy your angels are showing look settling down finally having that stable foundation that you're wanting that's a really good one. Wow, it's crazy. We got air sign in the beginning and then we got air sign again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is this about? Okay, air sign energy is going to be the one settling down. Oh my gosh. And soulmate energy here again. Let's see. But there is looking back in the past and that's what causes this confusion energy. <sighs> Looking back in the past and it caused some kind of confusion energy and there might be some kind of an agreement, <laughs> like my dog, to have a conversation with a third party individual, but that brings a lesson learned and it brings this person to a clear realization, but it's like, the decision is up to you whether or not you want to keep this in your life if you want to move forward with it or if you want to have something different. Someone definitely has fatherly issues here. Um, I'm seeing someone's father has a home business or something like that. Not like just like a self-employment type thing. Um, There's definitely a lack of boundaries because of a fatherly energy and a lack of like being able to fully be vulnerable in the right way because it's like holding back completely and then like pour, like outpouring of energy. So your angels are saying try to put yourself in the other person's shoes obviously to see this clearly and I'm seeing that it's important to not have judgment based off of this person's past because they have had well, excuse me this air sign energy has had like quite a rough past let's see <clears throat> Okay, so angels are showing the fall time, bringing an energy of wanting to reconcile, but there's conflict because, again, there's not really being sure of what to do, where to go, what to choose. There are some toxic behaviors, and where are those toxic behaviors coming from? You know, I'm sensing it could... Hmm... There could be some conversation around, especially when it comes to friends. And it almost feels as if there's missing out when it comes to friends. And like, I don't like, I don't know, someone, I'm hearing that song, you ain't gonna tie me down, why you wanna roll, why you wanna, and, and I'm gonna solo roll, and I'm gonna right now, you won't right now. But you ain't gonna tie me down, tie me down, tie me down. You ain't gonna tie me down. Me down. Wah, 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 wah. You like that? Is that good? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, where are we at in this reading? Let's go. Let's go. So there was definitely getting caught up in some toxic behaviors. Blah blah blah. But that person had a mask on the whole entire time. And that's not who they really are. Those toxic behaviors aren't who they really are. I'm seeing that there's this energy of having a spiritual awakening. 
And when there's a spiritual awakening, I see an apology finally coming forward. And I see it's like there's not wanting to go back to the past of like past hurt because there's finally learning from it. And I am definitely seeing someone self-employed here. Someone is definitely self-employed in this mix of people, of whatever it is. There could be two air signs, there could be one. Okay, so if there's, okay, so we, that was all the past love energy, right? But when it comes to new love, angels are showing this can still bring a sense of comfort and a lot of compassion into your life. Mm hmm. But there could be realizing that somebody's possibly a little too into themselves and a little too confident. Um, they're not like a bad person. Because, yeah, you got the narcissist card. But I'm not really getting like they're a bad person. I'm just getting overly confident and earth sign energy here. So that's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. There's a lot of fear here. <laughs> a lot of confusion as to what to do. But I think it's kind of... I think angels are giving quite a clear message. Let's see. So when it comes to your finances, your angels want you to know that you have a lot of stability coming in. You have... I don't know if you're making some kind of an investment or making or moving money from one account to another that's going to give you more of a return. Like instead of 2%, you're going to get like... 5% back um, your angels want you to know luck is on your side and you have blessings coming in so whatever this energy is 1144 on the timer whatever this energy is surrounding making an investment this is going to be a very good thing for you okay if you would like to book a reading with me or purchase one of my tarot decks you can go to my website chelseamgomez.com and this is my series three this is my series one this is my series two this is my series five i used all of my decks here basically they're kind of all just mixed up now so i'm gonna have to figure my way around this love you um yeah i have mystery crystal bags i have pendulums i have a lot of fun stuff on there but love you